Всем привет! С вами Елена Крицкая. My own six guidelines for choosing good perfumes. Today I'd like to share with you my knowledge of perfumes, or more precisely, how to choose a genuine quality perfume, and not a fake or one of poor quality. Why should we be so worried about choosing an authentic perfume? Firstly, not to harm our health. Secondly, not to waste money. And third, not to smell bad. After examining the official information, I have found 20 signs on how to distinguish fake or poor quality perfumes when choosing. Today we are surrounded by fakes and imitations everywhere. When choosing good wine, purchasing medicines, clothing, accessories, etc, etc. After studying my favourite theme of perfume for some time, I have defined for myself my own six guidelines which I use when choosing my perfume. And now I'll share this with you. Here's my checklist of the six signs. Number one, quality of alcohol used. Number two, excessive duration. Number three, excessive transparency. Number four, flu. Number five, distinguishable notes or bouquet. Number six, bloom or drop down on skin. Now I'll focus on each of these symptoms in detail. Number one, the first sign is the quality of alcohol. If it reeks strongly of alcohol, it's not genuine, it's an imitation. Remember, bad perfumes can be distinguished immediately by their bad alcohol. Many of us don't even realize how dangerous to their health these cheap knockoff imitation perfumes are. Alcohol is, is absorbed rapidly through the skin and into the bloodstream. If the perfume smells strongly of alcohol, it means that the manufacturers have used a chemical one called methanol, poisonous and dangerous to health. A good perfume has an alcohol content of about 80 to 90 percent, so checking the quality of the spirit used is not superfluous. There are three easy ways to test the spirits at home, to see if you were lucky to buy a good perfume very cheaply. Number one, set fire to a little of the perfume liquid. If it burns with a blue flame, then all is well. If the flame is green, it's poisonous, it's methanol. Number two, cut a potato slice and dip it into the perfume liquid. If after a few hours the potato doesn't change colour, everything's okay. If it turns pink, it's a sign of danger. <clears throat> the third is the formaldehyde test. Take a copper wire and heat it over a flame, and then immerse or plunge it into the liquid. If it gives off an unpleasant smell, it's methanol. How does it happen? Why do so many manufacturers of perfumes use industrial spirit alcohol? Quite simple. Such alcohol is not subject to customs and excise duties. It's usually used solely for very cheap detergents and cleaning preparations and not for expensive elite alcohol drinks or perfumes. Take care of your health. Do not buy a poor quality perfume, even if it costs exorbitant money. In France, the manufacturer of legal perfume uses only perfumery spirit. What is perfumery spirit? It is produced from grape spirit, most highly purified. That's why it does not have any odour at all. It's just like water. If the spirit has any odour, it affects the bouquet and adds to the aldehyde notes. But remember, in addition to the tainted bouquet, it's also detrimental to your health. Number two, the second sign, excessive duration or resistance of flavour to fading. Many women 
are happy. Wow, I bought such resistant perfume, which will stay on me for days. Put on a little drop and then stay sweet-smelling almost a week. Of course it pleases that their perfume has such increased resistance, and these women even insist that such a super resistance is a sign of authenticity. But I must disagree with them. Good perfume should sound on the skin for six to eight hours only, at maximum 10 to 12. I'm talking about parfum, because EDP, EDT and EDC is even less. Of course, I'm talking about perfume of French origin only. If the scent of a perfume lasts much longer, it means only one thing. Into it has been added a special smell fixator called diethylphthalate. Its toxicity is not fully studied, so while it's considered to be moderately toxic, that is, it will not kill you immediately, you may get a skin rash, itching, or something else. So in France, diethylphthalate is strictly forbidden to use as a smell fixator in perfume. So quality perfume of French origin will last for just six to eight hours. The third sign of a fake, excessive transparency. Very expensive luxury French perfume composition necessarily includes natural organic ingredients and it's well known that sometimes it can cause slight precipitate or cloudiness, turbidity. If there is none, it means that such perfumes have nothing but only cheap synthetic ingredients. The very high price of French perfume is determined by these unbelievably expensive natural organic ingredients so that the question about excessive transparency cannot even be raised. For some reason, a lot of women think that precipitate or sediment in a perfume is a sign of a forgery or poor quality. However, experts say the opposite. A small precipitate or cloudiness is okay but the excessive clarity and transparency of the perfume can indicate the use of illegal solvents that dissolve even mud and sand. Well, these solvents can also cause allergies and skin rashes. The following three attributes belong to exclusive, expensive French perfumes only. The plume, the distinguishable notes or bouquet and drop down on skin. So number four, the plume. The plume is a very thin, subtle, barely perceptible scent of a woman which attracts us and makes us lose our senses. Then the woman is gone, leaving behind this lingering plume as her aromatic shadow. And we, of course, must recognize the difference between the almost invisible lace of an aromatic plume from expensive French perfumes and the stunning and heavy smell of cheap imitations which catch in the throat, irritate the senses, and can even cause nausea. When a woman heavily aromatized by cheap knockoff enters the room, it needs to be ventilated immediately. And of course, God forbid such a woman should enter the elevator with you. Fainting guaranteed. Beware of fakes. fakes. Fakes can harm not only the health of the most richly perfumed women, but also all who surround her. Bouquet. Translated from the French, bouquet simply means mixture. But in other languages, it's not just a mixture. We understand this word as a beautifully designed mix of different flowers. We therefore present bouquets on special occasions and are accustomed to treat them with admiration. A beautiful bouquet can contain very few, very few flowers, as do expensive perfumes. 
In these floral arrangements, each flower is something special, and the other flowers emphasize its beauty. <clears throat> but altogether, the flowers are very harmonious and perfectly match each other. The perfume description includes enumeration of the aromatic notes contained in the bouquet. Expensive French perfumes have usually a little bit 5 to 7, no more than 10 to 12 notes only. Shoddy fakes don't have clearly distinguishable notes that make up a bouquet, so the Frenchmen call such perfumed aromatic liquids mille fleurs, which means thousand flowers. Cheap fakes are just nice or disgusting smelling liquids with absolutely indistinguishable and indeterminable notes. Finally, we reach the sixth and last characteristic that distinguishes expensive French perfumes from cheap imitations, drop down on skin. What is it? Perfume in the bottle is inactive, as if asleep in a crystal dungeon, but when it's applied to the skin, it awakens and comes to life. It starts to play on the skin with all shades of flavors. In the beginning, fresh citrus top notes give way to the heart notes, floral and a little spicy, warm and vanilla. The aroma of expensive perfume is like a musical symphony playing sounds over time, dropping down on your skin through its range of notes. And finally, a few hours later, the heart notes too dissolve, and through them exude viscous and heavy bass notes, fragrances of expensive, noble sorts of wood, sandal, sandalwood and acacia, or animal notes of musk and amber. In imitations, there is no drop down on the skin. They are just like a glued picture whose surface has no depth and therefore never change in time. Shoddy fakes will smell exactly the same way from the time of application to the skin for a few days. They will never unfold like a flower bud and will not drop down, leaving behind a woman a lingering finest plume. I've listed the six important characteristics and I hope that you have enjoyed it. Success, happiness and prosperity to all of you. Goodbye. Elena Klitskaya has been with you.